Why, this is one of my absolute all-time favorite hair products. Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another product review. This one here, Label M's Matte Paste. Now, I'm in a full sort of product review zone slash mode at the moment. Um, I'm, I'm kind of just getting back into it and getting all the brand battle that, yes, brand battle is coming back, I promise. But I'm getting into the zone, kind of doing a bit of my sort of World Cup leaderboard of hair products, and this is me getting into that. So this one is about Label M's Matte Paste. You'll have seen in the description of loads of videos past, also my Instagram, I'm always using this product. So it might be a bit of an obvious one about what I'm gonna say, but I think if you've not used this, or if you have, then I'll hopefully give you a bit of an insight into what it does, maybe what it doesn't do, and uh, why you might love it. Now, this is their matte paste. Label them, I've got loads, uh, loads, loads of different ranges. They've got a label men one, which is uh, Max Wax Deconstructor. Uh, they've got the thickening tonic, which I love, but they've got this range, which is the Label M Professional Care. This is used backstage at Fashion Week. Um, I don't really care that it's used backstage at Fashion Week. I just kind of want to know what it does. Uh, in terms of packaging, I have got one here which I used before. The packaging is matte, it's black, it's got the label and stuff on it, it's quite nice. But actually guys, over time, this comes off. So packaging, I am not impressed by. For a professional product, really, we should be having something a little bit better than that. In terms of the smell, it's kind of inoffensive. It doesn't really smell like much at all. It does have a sort of slight creamy, lemony, I'm really bad with smells, like I, I tend not to be able to get them perfectly, but a sort of creamy, lemony smell, I'm gonna say. In terms of ingredients, it's got this little pull out and it's got all the sort of things that we'd expect in a paste. Paste, I am still a bit like, what is a paste? Is it like a clay? Is it like a wax? Uh, but to me, a paste should be something which is really malleable, something which you can warm up and use very easily, which we will see, but this product is water based, but it does say here, which I read on their site, uh, it's got malachite, rhodochrosite, and oxarite minerals, actually to tox detoxify and protect the hair. Contains the exclusive Enviral Shield Complex, which shields against UV rays. So essentially it's saying it's got good minerals for the hair, but it's also got stuff that's really gonna protect your hair. Now, looking at the consistency of this product, it is as I would expect a paste to be. It's slightly creamy to the touch. It's got a little bit of resistance to it when you get your finger in. But guys, it does warm up very easily. It's got minimal stick, actually it's got no stickiness to it at all. And um, actually it's, it's really, really creamy. Now what that does for the application is it makes it so easily to apply. Back to front, root to tip, it just goes in so, so easily. For styling, this really does translate from that consistency into the application, into styling. It is so easy. You can build the volume in, you can do your parting, you can sort of have it across your face, you can up. It's, it's so versatile. For me, guys, you know in these reviews, I always just go boring. I have got it in my hair right now, and it's just the kind of thing that I like. For finish, you'll see that my hair, you'll see here and also from styling it, that it is matte in terms of finish, it's got loads of texture, it's got loads of movement, it looks like it's got a good sort of definition and shape, which I really like. Now, for hold, you know what I do, I do it once with hairspray, I do it once without. Uh, I'll give you the without hairspray first. Okay, styled, no hairspray, a little bit dropping at the front, but we'll see how that goes. Usual parting in there. Um, but yeah, this doesn't, it feels like it's got kind of good hold, but we'll see. Right, that has been nine hours in my hair. Nine hours, no hairspray, and um, I am impressed. It has been dropping throughout the day, as to be expected, but I've just kind of like, voomphed it back into place. Um, but what I like is it's not, doesn't feel sticky in my hair, it's not dried hard, um, and although it's a matte paste, I still think it's still got quite a lot of sort of malleability to it. And with hairspray? Right, this is a, a product with hairspray, uh, it's been in five hours. Not moved an inch. <laughs> I mean, I use this every day, so I know it's not gonna move. Right, I'm home, I need to get ready to go out, so I'm gonna give myself a quick shower because I'm very warm, common theme. Um, but yeah, the hair hasn't moved with hairspray. Hmm. 
So really you can see the hold without hairspray is really very good. Work it back in, leave it as it is, and then guys, if you are putting hairspray in like I've got right now, it's not going to move. Then washability as expected, water-based product, it washes out so, so easily. Uh, and actually my hair quite often feels quite conditioned after using this product. It feels smooth, it doesn't feel like too smooth and too squeaky clean, but it feels good. Now looking into price and comparison, this product always is kind of on offer on various sites. I have found the best prices that I possibly can, and I've linked them all in the description below, but you do get it on stuff like Feel Unique, HQ Hair, uh, Mankind, it's also in Salon, so do keep a lookout for it there, uh, Amazon, all that good stuff, it's down there. But this normally retails at about anything from £10 plus, normally about the 14, 15 pounds mark for a 50 mils, which is I've got here, or if you're looking at 120 mils, it's normally about the 20 pound mark plus. Again, I actually think this is really very good for that sort of price. The product I think that this is, the most like in terms of consistency is the Hans de Fuqua sponge wax. Now if you know that product, it's got a slight resistance to it. It does have a slight sponginess, as the name suggests, and waxiness to it. But that product is, uh, Hans de Fuqua's about the sort of 16 pound mark. So they are comparable, but this product just is so much more um, in terms of what it does. It's, it's so versatile. So verdict, would I, yes I would, I don't even have to ask it, would I recommend this product? I absolutely would. I love it because it's so versatile in what you can do. I always do the same thing, but it is versatile. It works on loads of different hair types. It's a great price point. It washes out, no bother. It's just really like trustworthy, I'm gonna say. You know, I always know what I'm getting from it. When I wake up in the morning or decide to change my hair before a night out, I just know that I can reach for this and it will do what I want. Also the fact, guys, that I've just bought another one just shows that I really do love this. I've got so many hair products and I, I've gone to this. So yes, I would 100% recommend it and I'd love to know if you guys get it too or if you've already got it and you really like it or you don't. It would be interesting to hear that too. Let me know in the comments below. I am sweating. I've not learned yet. I've probably got massive pit marks but we're just going with it. If you're new to my channel and you've not yet pressed subscribe, I'm speeding through this then please do. Press subscribe. That was a drip down my back. British summertime. The button is up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. <laughs> Stay with me and watch them. The links to my blog there. There's Instagram there. My podcast. I will see you in my next new video. Stop sweating. Sunday. Bye-bye.